everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on White Teeth by Zadie Smith. This is a book that is going to be a little bit difficult for me to give a summary on because there is a lot that happens in this book. I would say that mainly it follows the two sort of main characters, Archie and Samad. They are two guys who met while serving in the Second World War. They ended up becoming friends and sort of staying friends throughout the rest of their lives as they get married and have kids and it just follows them and their family and the people that they come in contact with. This book is broken up into four parts and this is told from a third person omniscient narration but each section sort of focuses on a specific character or very closely to a specific character so the first part is about Archie but you do know things about Samad but it's kind of through Archie that you find those things out because they're close friends and just as they're interacting with each other you're always finding out about all of the characters but you just sort of focus on specific characters so to speak. This was a really interesting book to read like I said in my wrap up this took me almost the entire month to read because this is a really thick and dense book so there is a lot of writing in here. This is kind of slow paced especially for the first hundred or so pages. You're kind of working your way through the book to sort of figure out what's going on and what you're supposed to be paying attention to in this book. This is definitely more a character study than anything else. There are things that happen. It's one of those stories where things are happening and you don't really completely understand how it all fits together until the very end of the book and then everything sort of gets wrapped up with each other. This book also switches time. At the beginning of each section it gives you a character name and it also gives you some years so you can figure out where things are happening in the timeline so you kind of have to keep things straight in the timeline and put things together yourself. This is definitely a book where the reader has to do a little bit of work while reading it, which I know some people might consider a bad thing, but I don't necessarily. It knows that you can put the things together yourself, so it gives you the things and lets you put it together yourself instead of just laying it all out. I have a little bit of mixed feelings about this book just because the writing is really good, but I could feel myself sort of getting disengaged quite a bit during this book. There were a lot of times where you would start finding out about other characters in this world that Zadie Smith has created but you don't know how these characters fit in necessarily right at the beginning. It takes some time before they get introduced or they interact with the character that you already know and then you're like okay this is how character C fits in with character A that you read about 20 pages ago or that you read about in another section and it's very much a puzzle that you're putting together and so there are times where I was reading about characters and I'm just not completely caring about those characters because I don't understand how they fit into this world. Like I would read a section and then I would really start to enjoy these specific characters and when I would get introduced to a new character part of me is always like well I wish I could just go back and keep reading about this character and then you would figure out how they relate to that previous character and then you start caring about the new character again and it was sort of this back and forth I kept dealing with when reading this book which is why I have such mixed feelings about it. This is definitely not one of those books where characters are likable by any means. I would say most of the characters in this book or at least half of the characters in this book are pretty deplorable. They all make unwise decisions but at the same time I felt like the writing was so compelling that I kept wanting to keep reading or there are just so many people that I did enjoy reading about that I was entertained by that I kept reading this book. Another thing I really enjoyed about this book is the fact that it deals a lot with immigrants and non-white people as well as white people. I don't know if I said that this takes place in England so obviously you're gonna have English people but then it also deals with immigrants, people from Bangladesh, people from the Caribbean and it jumps around places as well as time. You experience different countries and things like that which I really enjoyed because it's definitely something you don't necessarily get all the time when reading books and so I definitely think this is a really good book if you want to experience different cultures or people who have different backgrounds seeing their point of view of the modern world. I think this is a really good book for that. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this book for everyone but if you are someone who likes adult books then I would recommend this book to you. If you've never read an adult book before this is probably not a good one to start out with because you might get discouraged by just how dense it is. In the end though I really did enjoy this book. I have to say my favorite characters were all of the females in this book. Is that weird? I thought they were just so much fun and so entertaining and I could kind of understand them better 
maybe because I'm also female, but I just really enjoyed all of them and I kept wanting to read more about the wives of the main characters or the daughters and the aunts and the nieces and I just loved all of them and I wish the story was more about them than about Samad and Archie. So yeah, that's my review of White Teeth by Zadie Smith. If you've read this book, feel free to leave your comments down below talking about what you thought about this book or if you've read any of Zadie Smith's other books, let me know what you have thought of them as well. I own both On Beauty and NW now. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.